Hey y'all! Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you want to see how I transform these pajamas, keep on watching. And of course if you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button and that bell button to be notified when I put out new content each and every week. So I'm doing my little happy dance because though these, um, these joints are a little big, I got these for six bucks at my local thrift store. And the materials you're going to need are some scissors, some straight pins, as well as some skinny elastic and some thicker elastic and your handy dandy sewing machine. So first things first, we're just gonna lay out our fabric. What I always like to do is I just like to begin by cutting off the sleeves. And my goal with any project that I do is to use as much fabric as possible so we're really not creating too much waste. So gotta be, you know, environmentally conscious and whatnot. So once that is all complete, I'm going to go ahead and just cut um, or after drawing a semi straight line um, across the bottom of the shirt, I'm just going to go ahead and cut that bottom piece off and this will serve as our ruffle of the off shoulder part, which you'll see a little bit later in the video. So we're going to put that aside and then I'm just going to go ahead and seam rip the pocket off so that we're working with just some clean fabric and there's no, you know, pockets and doodads and doohickeys and things like that. So after that, I go ahead and just cut the top portion of the shirt off. And so therefore we're just working with this middle piece right here. So yes, I am in my bra, <laughs> which you will see in this video a lot. Um, so basically I'm locating the center of my bust and I'm just drawing two lines. And what I'm doing right here is I'm going to create these triangles from those two lines. And these are going to act as notches to kind of pull the fabric in and make it almost like a bodice, which I mean, that's exactly what we're making a bodice. And so I'm going to go ahead and sew diagonally, fold the, folding the fabric in half, I'm sewing diagonally along that, um, those lines. So you can see right here, this is what it should look like, fresh off the machine. And now I just folded everything in half, so this is still the bodice piece that we're working with. I'm just going to cut the excess fabric off that I don't really need. And so I'm opening this back up and I'm taking a shirt, a pre-existing shirt, just to kind of get the width of, you know, my body in general. And I'm leaving about an inch of seam allowance on either side. I should have probably left a little bit more, um, seeing as though you'll see it later, but I would definitely recommend leaving a little bit more than an inch. And so I cut the edges just to kind of taper them off and give it more of like a body a bodice like, um, shape. And afterwards, I go ahead and take a tape measure and I'm measuring the distance between my two shoulder blades, which comes out to 20 inches. And to that, I'm going to be adding five more inches. So you see, I've created this back piece, which I'm pro I apologize because I didn't get this on camera, um, sadly. <laughs> um, and I just added five more inches to that 20 inches to create 25. So this is a 25 inch back piece, which will allow us to get in and out of the bodice. And so the next step is to take a, your thicker elastic and just place it from one armpit to the other armpit and then cut that and then make sure you make three of these. So you have three of the same lengths in total and then you're going to set your machine to the zigzag stitch and then just carefully tug and pull along the elastic and the fabric. And then you're going to kind of create three rows, which it should look like this after you take it through the machine. So making sure that the right sides are touching, I'm pinning the back of the bodice, which you see right here, to the front of the bodice. And so again, everything's inside out. And I'm gonna go ahead and sew that, and this is what it should look like once you have sewn everything together. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to just um, hem the edges and make sure everything looks nice and neat. So I'm going to first start by straight stitching the front the top half and the bottom half I'm going to be straight stitching. The side that's basically not stretchy is what you should be straight stitching. And then the side that is stretchy is what you should be zigzag stitching. So you see here, I'm straight stitching. And then on the back, I am zigzag stitching. So I'm just hemming the top and the bottom just to give it a nice clean edge. And I probably am repeating myself, but I just want this to be as clear as possible. So let me know in the comment section down below if there was anything that you didn't understand and I'm happy to explain it. 
So this is what it should look like afterwards. That's the front and the back. And now we're gonna move to the shoulder piece. Now this part's a little weird because I just kind of brushed through this part, so I do apologize, but essentially what we wanna do is make a kind of a ruffle effect. So taking the bodice, I'm measuring down about five inches because that's for how long I want my ruffle piece to be. So I'm measuring from the bottom of the ruffle piece to where five inches um, would be, and I'm adding one inch seam allowance, so it's technically six inches. So this ruffle piece is six inches tall. And I'm just gonna cut off that um, excess that I don't need. And then you see that there's a kind of a little bit of a gap, which I will be filling in later or you know sewing together later. So don't mind that gap. But for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and hem the top portion just so everything, of course, is nice and clean. And then I go ahead and straight stitch that down. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that our bodice piece is inside out and the the top portion is um, up. And then we're going to just um, sew on the wrong side of both of the shoulder piece and the bodice piece. And then we're gonna create box pleats. So essentially box pleats, I have a, a more detailed video on this which I will link down below but you're basically folding the pleats into one another. So when you create a fold, you make sure to go on the opposite end and pull that fold towards that first fold. So you see I'm folding to the left and then I'm going to pin that down. And then I'm going to take the other side and fold it towards that. So I'm folding now to the right. And I'm gonna go ahead and pin that down and I'm just going to keep folding to the left and then folding to the right and repeating this process just on the front half of the bodice. So once everything is complete, this is what it should look like. And then we're just gonna straight stitch that along the just the front half. And so this is what it looks like, and you're gonna have those excess pieces hanging off, but that's going to be the off the shoulder part. But before we attach that, we're going to just close up the gaps. So I'm gonna go ahead and just straight stitch that up. I should have done this earlier, but you know, I'm too lazy. But um, this is what it looks like afterwards. So to create the armholes, really all I did was I you know, put it on, tried it out, and made sure that I was able to move my arms. And then once I decided on that um, length or distance, I just tacked it down. So it's really just a matter of you know, playing around with it and making sure that you're able to move your arms freely. And once you decide where to place it, you're just gonna go ahead and straight stitch just a little bit at the top of the shoulder piece to the back of your bodice. And so we're just stitching just a little bit. And then now we're gonna take some elastic and the skinny elastic and we're gonna measure from the front of our armpit to about the back of our armpit. And that's one piece, we're gonna create two pieces for each shoulder blade. And so this is just gonna make sure that the shoulder pieces are snug to your arm, but you're also able to you know, move them freely so that they stretch. And we're just gonna zigzag and stitch that all the way around within the armhole. And now we are finished with the top. Um, now I wish that I made the bodice part a little bit longer in the back, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. So what I do with my pants now, I want to make them a little less baggy, so I just kind of hike them up a little bit and then um, figure out like the length that I want them as to how high, high waisted and I just draw a little chalk mark as to where I wanna just cut off the excess of the pant. And now I'm just gonna lay the pants um, inside out as well as fold them together. And then I'm gonna take an existing pair of pants and really what I'm doing is totally optional. I'm just tapering it off so it's a little less baggy and a little bit more of like a cigarette pant kind of shape. So I'm just using the pant, my regular pants as a guide and leaving about half inch seam allowance. 
and I'm just going to cut off the excess to up to where the crotch is but I don't necessarily go all the way up I just kind of take it up a little bit and then once that is complete I open it back up and then I get to pin in so that I close it back up So you see here I'm just going to pin everything and I'm going to be straight stitching this in my machine just to kind of close everything back up and after that I'm taking the stretchy portion of the pant which was like the elastic band um, at the very top and I'm just cutting off the excess fabric. And so after that I have my waistband and then I'm just going to turn it inside out and then pull it and making sure that the actual pant is right sides out so the right side is up and the band is inside out I'm going to be attaching it um, by pulling the pant all the way through the loop of the elastic band and I'm going to be elastic stitching or sorry uh, zigzag stitching it all the way around so I hope that made sense so you're basically just reattaching the um, elastic piece and this is the final results and I am loving this so so much I just am so happy that this worked because I went through some struggles y'all as you can see but I hope that you all enjoyed this definitely don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you all soon love you bye